Hi everybody, welcome back. Um, it's been a while since we had the last video, so this is the fourth video, I believe, in the cooking series. And today we're going to have a very simple recipe. Um, it's a two-part video. Of this, so the first part today is going to be on how to make shortbread, and then the second part, which we're going to add later on, um, is going to be on how to make millionaire's shortbread or millionaire's shortcakes. Yeah, so we're going to combine the shortbread with caramel and chocolate all right but the first part today is all about shortbread my sous chef's ready we've washed our hands and we're good to go so three ingredients for shortbread it's a really easy recipe as i said and it's quite versatile you can add lots of different things to it if you want to all right so in my bowls behind me i've got 200 grams of butter i've got 275 grams of plain flour and then 100 grams of caster sugar all we're going to do is we're going to combine those all together we're going to mix them together and then we're going to roll them out okay so my butter and my sugar is going to go in with my flour and we're going to combine all of those together and mix them Best thing to use is your hands. You see, use one hand, keep the other one clean, because then you can, if, if you need to give someone a high five, you can still do that. Okay, there we go. Help you get Charlotte. All right, so you mix that in with your fingers. Give that a good mix. Hang on, one hand, that's it. Get all that mixture mixed in. Okay, we're looking for nice combined mixture wants to be all stuck together we don't want breadcrumbs we want it all stuck together because we're going to roll it out the idea of them being short bread the keys in the name it's short a short mixture so it's using sort of a, a short crumb cookies are a little bit um runnier and cakes we we'll bake them for longer or a short bread is a lot more um drier the mixture Okay, no, no water, just going to mix that in together, all mixed together, here's our hands, one hand, one hand. yeah, that's right. <laughs> hopefully, when it's all mixed together, we should have a nice dough. Yeah, I did use two hands, you're right. <laughs> Tell me off. So while Charlotte's mixing all that together, all I'm going to do is get some flour for... Get some flour to dust my surface with. We need to roll it out so we need a nice floured surface, otherwise, it's going to stick. This is a little bit wet still, the mixture, so it's okay. Put a big mound of flour on my surface, and then I can just bring bits across as I need to. I can use it to dust it. Okay, good. So, we've got a nice combined mixture now. I'm going to finish that off. It's all mixed together. It's one lump of dough. Okay, all the ingredients are incorporated in there. Very simple, very easy. Took us five minutes. Okay, so this is a nice quick bake for you. Yeah, nice treat on a Friday or whenever after a long day at school, virtual learning. Okay, it's got our dough ready, got our worktop floured. Just down, just down Charlotte, coming over this side. A little bit of dusting of flour, as I say always, don't coat it in flour, don't cover it, okay? Don't drown it in flour, it just needs to be lightly dusted. We just don't want it to stick. Try and avoid too much contact with your hands if you can. No, we obviously just use them to make it, but once we form a nice dough, you want to keep it that way. Okay, that's rolled out. Now, what you can do with your dough is 
you can roll it out and use cutters. So we're looking for maybe, well, I don't know, a couple centimetres thickness wise. Yeah, a couple of centimetres thick. And you want your tray to put them on. Got my tray there, okay. A bit of greasing on it and some butter. We're going to roll it out a couple of centimetres thick and then cut it. Okay. Because I'm making millionaire shortbread, okay, what I'm going to do is do it slightly different. So I'm putting mine in a pan and I put it in the base of the pan and bake it in the oven. Okay. When the shortbread is cooled down, I'm then going to add layers, which is the second part of the video, which is going to go on later. Okay, roll that out the size I need. Make sure it doesn't stick. Nice good dough to work with. Measure it out to my tray. A bit more. It's square. Flat. Okay. What I'm going to do is cut round it to make the shape I need. I'll show you what we'll do with the leftovers in a minute. There we go, I've got the base for mine. That's going to go in my pin, okay? Obviously, you might want to do yours different if you're just doing the shortbread. I'm going to show you in a second what you're going to do, okay? So I've got my tin line there, for my shortbread, one millionaire shortcake later, okay? The leftover dough. Okay, you're just going to go for the shortbread option, which is fine. Put your shortbread cookies, and you want your dough. So you're going to roll it out to about a couple of centimetres thick. Make sure it's well floured. Okay. Put my camera over and you can see. Okay. It's got a couple of centimetres thick there. Nice and good in size. And then we're going to do Charlotte now. Come over, Charlotte. So we're going to cut them into keys. Okay. Use my cutter, press it down, dip, press and turn. And then we're going to place them on our baking tray. Boom. Get as many cookies as we can out of that. You're probably going to get a lot more if you're just doing shortbread. Depending on what size you're using, okay, you could get up to 12 or 15 cookies out of that mixture. Well, obviously using plain flour with no raising agents, it's not going to rise to so the size that they are now. It'd be roughly the size that they come out of the oven in. 
Okay, use the last little bit of our mixture up. Onto our tray, okay, there we go, nicely spaced apart. They're going to go into the oven, okay, 150, the temperature for my oven that I need. And just going to check on the cooking time. Roughly about 20 minutes. It might take a little bit less, might take a little bit longer. Okay. They're going to go into my oven, preheated oven. Obviously, remember about 150, 160. Set my timer for 20 minutes. Okay, if they're not done, you know they're done there. Bit crispy. Okay, we don't want them to burn though. Be very careful. If you roll them quite thin, roll them quite thin. Yeah, they might burn. Okay, so if you have them a good thickness, then they'll be fine. I'm gonna put my other shortbread in there as well for my millionaire shortbread later. Okay, so good. All right. What I'll do, guys, is I'll post a video or a, a picture, sorry, of the final results when they come out of the oven. And about and then the other comments that I need. Or any other tips join me again for the second part of this video okay if you want to continue and make the caramel and the chocolate for the topping otherwise enjoy making your shortbread okay see you next time